During this lesson, we will construct a puff sleeve and a top with shearing on the shoulder. We will start with the basic block saved from a previous lesson. Using the V quick step method, add a dart. Type V followed by the dart width amount. Select the dart transfer tool. Select two dart sections and drag from one side of a dart to the other side. The drag dart is closed and the other dart becomes wider. We will demonstrate how to use the puff tool to add volume to the shoulder line. The puff tool requires the subsections to be divided with internal lines. We use the Bezier Polyline tool to draw the division lines. Left click to start the line and right click to end the line. We want to subdivide the shoulder line into four sections. Move the cursor on top of the shoulder line and type 3. The line is divided into four sections of equal length. Draw the first subdivision line. Select the parallel line tool and draw the other two subdivision lines. Join with adjacent line option causes the parallel line to be joined to the surrounding lines. Select the puff tool. Select the subdivision lines and click one end of the rotation reference line. The click side is where the adjustment is made. The match endpoint option causes the subdivisions to be evenly spread out over the reference line. We now use the rotate line tool to spread the last subdivision. Use the detached quick step to create the rotated copy. We now have the general outline shape of the pattern. Before we trace the outline, we convert all the subdivisions to temporary shapes. Then, delete all internal lines. Select the Trace tool. Trace the outline. Right-click to finish tracing. Blend the shoulder line using the BB quick step method. Blend other sections. We add a puff volume to the sleeve pattern. Draw the rotation reference line using the Bezier Polyline tool. Select the bottom section of the sleeve and type Ctrl C to copy the shape. Select the straight line and type Ctrl P to paste the shape. Draw the other subdivision line. Select the Puff tool. Select the subdivision lines. Click one end of the rotation reference line. Now, we use the Trace tool to create an actual pattern from the group of lines. Right-click completes the trace operation. Use the BB Quick Step blending method to blend the curve. BB1 indicates Bezier blending with an extra curve point in the middle. The extra curve point with control points allows more complex curve shape. 